Chris Ello, David Wells, he's been our eyes and ears throughout this uh, 2017 Aztec football season, so we thought we'd go to him before the final game. First of all, congratulations on your career. You said something in there that I thought was interesting, that your final game comes up on you a lot faster than you think, and now here we are, your final home game, and wow, you, it's almost like you're not ready for it. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, I got here in 2013, and now it's just like it's it's already almost done. So, I mean, it's it's a crazy process, and uh, for it literally just to be almost over is it's just a crazy feeling because it feels like it, you just started yesterday. But, I mean, uh, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot of fun. You know, I'm excited for it, and it uh, should be one great last time at uh, Aztec Warrior Stadium. Let me ask you, going back to 2013 or even 2012 before that, and you came to San Diego State, did you have any expectations? Have, has this thing kind of blown away any expectations you might have had? I mean, two 11-win seasons, the bowl wins, hopefully uh, the two championships, hopefully another 10-win season this year. I mean, you guys have done a lot. Yeah, I mean, when I got here, I mean, I came here just because it was a pro-style offense and they used tight ends. And, uh, you know, I'm glad we stuck throughout the whole entire time I was here. And, uh, well, I mean, yeah, it's been awesome. I mean, I can't really complain about anything. You know, it's start the start of the uh, my career, we were we had eight wins and then seven wins. And then out of nowhere, we had two 11-win seasons in a row. And hopefully, we're going to get our 10th win on Friday. But, I mean, it's awesome, you know, getting two championships and getting two rings from it. I mean, it's a great feeling. I can't, can't really say anything bad about it. What do you guys do with your? Uh, what do you do with your championship rings? Do you? Where, where you you got to be careful around campus, I think, with championship ring. Oh, I never wear them. I never wear them. They're they're in my they're they're in a case back at home, and that's really it. So that's they don't get out too much, but uh, when they come out, it's always a special appearance. I'll be happy to wear one for you if you want. I mean, just to, you know, for the heck of it. Uh, let's go back to last week's game and. I thought you guys, I was on the sidelines. I thought you guys were a little flat in the first quarter. It just didn't seem like there was the same intensity. Uh, fell behind 10 nothing, And then number 20, I think, just said, hey, guys, let's get going. And, and he turned in a performance that I know you were playing in the game, but watching it, I had to keep reminding myself, we're not going to, you don't get to see something like this very often. <laughs> no, you really don't. I mean, just playing, you're just like, oh, okay, yeah. He just broke another run, you know, that's a typical Rashad. But then it's the first time back there at punt return, you know, don't know what to expect. And you're just like, all right, yep, yeah, that sounds about right. And then he takes a kickoff return for a touchdown. You're like, okay. And he, he's starting to get a sense that he's something special. And then, you know, he just goes off for over 200 yards. And, it's, it's you know, it's crazy. You know, it's like you don't really think about it after the game. You think how how long 470-something yards is. I mean, that's – man ran a long ways on his feet. So, I mean – it's, it's pretty impressive. And let's just be honest, he could have gone over 500 yards. They called a 70-yard touchdown back. And whether that was holding or not, I'm not going to say. I don't know. But I do know that the call happened about 15 yards behind where he already was. So that 70-yard run, it, it was amazing. And I, I think you're... You're all sticking up for Rashad. I mean, he's getting a little bit overlooked right now nationally, and and it's I think it's a, a, something for the whole team to be proud of and and feel like he deserves mention with everybody else. Yeah, I mean, I thought I think just like what I said earlier, I think it's a joke that he wasn't invited to the Doak Walker Award ceremony thing. But I mean, there's nothing we can really do about it. It's frustrating, you know, especially as us as a team because you know we care about him a lot, and you know he's a hell of a player and he's a hell of a dude. I mean, he's a good guy all around. So, I mean, you, you cheer for dudes like that, and when they don't get the recognition that he deserves, you know, it sucks. But, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how Rashad comes back on Friday because I know he'll probably have a little chip on his shoulder. But, uh, you know, it's come to expect greatness out of Rashad every game because, I mean, that's what you get. Was he supposed to throw that pass to you, or who was that supposed to go to the other night? Oh, yeah, that was our toss reverse pass. No, he was, <laughs> it was just a toss pass to uh, Micah, but then uh, he wanted to call his own number. But if you look at the film, it's like I thought he was going to try to throw it to me, and, and, then, and then I saw him tuck it down and run. I was like, all right, screw it. I'm going to go block for a guy. You know, It's really easy when you're in the open field with him. You just got to get a hand on the guy, and then he just makes scores a touchdown. So. Next time Rashad passes it to David, he wants to tell his kids and grandkids about all that stuff. Hey, good luck this uh, Friday against New Mexico. Your final home game at Aztec Warrior Stadium. It's going to be, a, I think, maybe even a little more emotional than you think. 
uh, just going out there for the final time. But thanks for all the great, I don't want to say memories, but victories and accomplishments that you and this class has given uh, us and the Aztec fans the last four years. Appreciate it. Thank you. Really appreciate it. All right, there's David Wells. Don't forget, full coverage of Friday's game. It's a 12.30 start, so that'll give everybody more time to get more highlights and more interviews and more stuff that you can watch right here on GoAztecs.com.